Welcome everyone to the horror cast number 90. I'm your host Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with Scott. What's up Scott? Hello all. All right so we got some bad news. The movie that's been delayed numerous numerous times called Animeville The Awakening by Dimension Films and Bloomhouse uh, is delayed I don't know how many times this is. Now this is probably what the fifth maybe? Yeah about fifth or sixth. So it's getting out of its June 30th release date. Uh, The film, which was helmed by Franek uh, Kalfoun, pushed back for multiple reasons. Um, Since it was originally supposed to be released in January 2015, Bella Thorne, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Cameron Monahang, Monahang, star in the horror sequel, which offers a modern twist on the story. With the film gone that week, going into Fourth of July holiday, will now sport three releases: Despicable Me, Three, Baby Driver, in the House. Yeah, so basically, all those movies was going to destroy Animeville, whatever number this is. Yeah, and that's smart move. Um, but again, there's a certain point in time where you delay movies so much where it's not going to do good ever, unless you no. just pop it out. It's got they got it. Put it in January. They're losing money. They're basically losing money for every time they delay it. And if it keeps going, they're going to have to. Put, they're probably going to have to decide to put it out on video, which is going to pretty much cause them to probably put the other two sequels. Yeah, like we were saying off air, I think they shot this follow up and the follow up after that, mm-hmm. but they can't release those because this movie's so delayed. So again, pop it out in January. Yeah. Then what you do is you pop out or, the other anime film or, in August. Or they could pop it out during the Halloween. October. Yeah, in October. Yeah. Thanksgiving, maybe Halloween to Thanksgiving or blah blah or vice versa. Weekend. Basically. You know. That so, would have been, you know, but of course they don't think like that. So um now you said you loved the mummy movie. Yeah, the mummy was good. I have to say, I went in like I went into the movie just like I went in to see uh, uh, Ghostbusters with very apprehensive. I was mm-hmm. thinking at least uh, it'll be a. I was thinking okay, at least make it a decent, good, entertaining movie. I came out of it just like I did with Ghostbusters. With this was good. This was a very good movie, and they got a good start, and they actually have a good start for the uh, dark, dark universe saga. Right. And this is going to be somewhat spoiler. Hey, Chris. Uh, hey, dear. Let's just say Russell Crowe plays two great parts in this, and the the ending was was okay. That sucks. We were talking about Chris. We he, he's been in a horror cast, and he was just giving his review a little bit of the mummy. But yeah, it's uh, it it was okay, uh, and seeing it, it I'm still trying to decide exactly how they set up. Um, uh, um, uh, the other ones. Tom Tom Cruise's I mean, Tom Cruise's character because gives you the impression that he. He uh, is going to be involved. He gets involved in one of the other movies. Okay. And right, don't uh, spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. I won't. But the way he's treated in this, you you, you sort of have mixed feelings. How old him. is Tom Cruise now? He's. I know he's older than me. I mean, he's in the forties. No, no, he's not in his forties. No. He's fifties. He's in his fifties. He's in, running around like crazy. Like yeah. he's just. Ridiculous. I mean, yeah, like I said, you get mixed feelings about uh, his character in this. One minute you feel like, oh, that's going, oh, that's got to hurt, and but at the same yeah. time you're feeling, you're a douchebag. You shouldn't right. have done. So, um, but it was. It's a good. It won't overtake. I will say this much: it is a number two movie, right? And if it does make number one. Uh, over Wonder Woman, it'll only stay there. For it's not going it to. No, no, it won't. It won't overtake Wonder Woman. But if it, if I'm just saying, if it does, yeah. it'll be number one for one week, and then Wonder Woman will go back to being number one the following. Let week. me just screen share the the um, 
poster that they had today of Ghostbusters, which is really, I think both teams. Well, actually, this is. Well, actually, no. This one. This one shows um, the new team. But I think there was another one that had both of them. Um, they had a question and answer session with Ernie Hudson and uh, Ivan Reitman. I watched most of it. It was cool. Uh, yeah, Chris, we were talking about the Animeville thing. What is your take on that? Like, I, guess, I know we talked about it off air, but uh, I mean, it's smart because they were going up against these big movies like Despicable Me, Baby Driver, and The House. But when could they release this? January? Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, they might have to wait till January because November's got, you know, Thor and Justice League. You know, December obviously belongs to Star Wars. Yeah. Um, they could maybe go August, but that's stretching it a bit. Um, and what do I, did they do with the other um, ones, the other mo- anime film movies that are waiting? <laughs> They're not getting put out. I mean, they got to, you know. Do it's, they put- clear, it's clear that the studio has no faith in this movie. And they're yeah. not. It, it doesn't see. It, it seems like they're not expecting it to uh, to make it to you know make back its money or you know right. make a big profit from it. Um, honestly, I think that they should just put it out at some point if they really have no faith in it. Put it out when nothing is coming out, and then hope that you get you know whatever you can make from it. Right. So again, it was it was a bad like you and I say all the time. It's all about scheduling and. Mm-hmm. Anime were going against Despicable Me 3. You know right away it's not going to be number one. So that's a bad no. idea. Yeah. The House is a comedy. That's probably going to be number two. Yeah. And you don't want to be number three. So, you know, and then uh, there was another horror movie coming out called It Comes at Night. They have these weird titles for horror movies lately. That's coming out this week, I think, right? Yeah, well, Mommy it came out. So I don't know how that's going to do good. But, I mean... They, they do have horror movies scheduled sporadically. One month, they'll sneak it in. You know, they got a a ghost story movie coming out against Spider-Man Homecoming, yeah, which that's not going to do I well. I saw the trail for that, and that, that, that's really not a horror flick. Okay. It's basically a retrospect uh, of a, a person's life. Okay. And then I think the next time we have a horror movie – is they have a movie called Lycan, which is a sci-fi horror. That's coming out in August. Annabelle is August 11th. Annabelle Creation, it's called. So that's going to be probably number one. That we Polaroid is another horror movie coming out on the 25th of August, um, which I'm sure you know they're paying Polaroid to use the name. Mm-hmm. It comes out on September 8th. It. Yeah, the, the the clown movie it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, and then we just have let's see, Flatliners coming out the 29th of August. The oh, of September, I'm sorry, September reboot or soft reboot or something. Never thought they would have a sequel to that, by the way. Um. And I think there's another Saw movie coming out. So, oh, Saw Legacy. Which, I guess they're going to try to start the franchise over again. That's in October. All I know is a gal at uh, work is just praising that movie left and right. I mean, mm. every time she opens her mouth, it's like, I don't saw Legacy. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. This is what happened in here. And this is what happened there. And blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking, oh. Okay. And then we're done for the, we're done for the year for horror after that. So, um, you, there you go. And now, Chris, you said something about the Conjuring Three. What was that about? Yeah, I don't know if this has been confirmed or not, but apparently that the story could possibly have something to do with werewolves or a werewolf. So that's they're trying to do. They're trying to bring back the howling in a way, like the interest in werewolves. <sighs> I don't was know. there a case with the with the with them with werewolves? Uh, I'm sure there was. I mean, these these two. I, I'm not very fond of them as uh, paranormal investigators in real life because you know there was a time where stuff like that really interested me. Not really so much anymore. And and you know from what I've heard about them, I mean they're not. You know they they say all these things, but there's not a lot of proof to back up what they say. Um, so I don't know. Maybe maybe they did 
and, 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 you know, on that, I'm not attacking them personally. I'm just saying from what I've heard. Right. But, you know, I, maybe they had a case that had to do with werewolf or werewolves. I think that's a weird choice to make a, a movie choice. out of, though. I um, know. Go ahead, Tristan. Knows? I said, I know there was supposed to be a tale about somebody bad-mouthing the doll Annabelle in their store. And then uh, on their way home, this couple, the, the person, of course, the, it was the guy, and they were on a motorcycle, and they just happened to get into an accident. And yeah. was, oh, boy, it's because they badmouthed Annabelle. Was that a real story? That was a real thing? Listen, I'm going good. Well, I mean, that, that, uh, the, the, the Annabelle doll is, is an actual case that they did. So, you know, I yeah. mean, that, that is one of the ones that they, they can, you know, back up. And, and you know, they, whether the doll is haunted or not, I mean, who knows? That, that's, you know, they know that, not us. But they but, keep having know. it blessed every week, a couple times a week. I mean, who you know? I mean, I mean, isn't one of them the is the, the husband pass away and she's just alive, or is it? I think both? one of them passed away, but I'm not entirely sure to be honest. So what happens when he, when she goes? Like, did, did they just throw the doll in the garbage? I mean, that, no, can't no, no. They, they all that stuff would either probably go to a museum or to to whoever they write in their will or something, you know? Because that stuff has to be if that thing is haunted, that would be a disaster if they just let it loose into the world all their stuff so mm, creepy stuff um friday 13th the video game i'm gonna be playing it tomorrow joe's bringing the game so get to check it out you play it chris or no um i haven't played it i have seen uh playthroughs of it mm -hmm. and it from what i've seen it could definitely use a bit more to it because basically it's the same thing every time. Right, um, they should. But, you know what they should have did? Because I, I saw Joe playing it. Yeah. And the thing is they got to get uh, gas and they got to get the battery for the car mm -hmm. and then take off. They should have mm -hmm. did a thing with a boat too. Or they have like, a boat. Oh, they have a thing to have a yeah, boat? Yeah, you have to get a propeller. Too? You have to get a propeller and, and gas and you can get out in the lake. But the thing is, like, I think Jason can chase you in the lake. Right. Like he can swim after. Is there any something. other ways to leave other than those two things? Or there, There's a few different ways. You can call the police mm -hmm. and you have, you have like a certain amount of time before the police show up. And you have to, if you get to the police, they can get you out of there before Jason can kill you. There's also another way. Now I haven't seen all the Friday the 13th movies, but there's a certain thing you can do where you go to a, like a radio. Oh, and, jo and Tommy Jarvis. Yes. Yes. And, okay. and he can show up and he can kill Jason. Okay. Apparently, I, I haven't seen it happen in the game, but he shows up with this like huge freaking elephant gun, Jesus. and he's just ready to—he's just ready to blow Jason's head off. Um, the thing about it is, there's this weird thing where like you can grab people and kill people as Jason, like you know, like you would expect. Mm -hmm. But like if they ha they if they pick up a pocket knife somewhere throughout the game, like they can mess Jason up. With a pocket knife, <laughs> really badly. Yeah, with a pocket knife. Ew. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. But, uh, it, I mean, it looks cool. There's a whole bunch of different versions of Jason you can play as. I heard um, that they, um, they had a Hell Jason. Uh, hell Jason that they just, do, was, yes. Yeah. That's interesting. He looks awesome. There's, there's the Jason with the bag on his head. Yeah. There's the, the Hell Jason. There's the original Jason. I think there's, there's a Jason, Jason X, right? I don't think there is yet. No? I because Ang coming. Angry Joe reviewed the game, and he was, that was one of the things he said. Like, oh, I wish Jason X was in it. Oh, um, I don't know why they wouldn't put that in there. That's great. They would have to save them for a download. They can't Maybe. put that in there eventually. Yeah. Do they have it? They don't have it where like he's a kid with the bald and just like want to kill people like that, right? No, no, I don't. I don't think so. Mm. Do they have it like him from the seventh movie where he looked like an alien, like his face without the mask when the when the when the thing busted open? All, all of the forms have their mask on. Okay. Um, it, the, the one that doesn't has the bag over his head. Wow. Um, yeah. But, I mean, he I, – I like the Hell Jason. I think that one is, is really cool. But um, they never had that one. That's just they made up for the thing, right? I think they, they just made it up, I guess. It looks really yeah. awesome, though. Wow. Now, what's next for this group? I mean, are they making more video games for horror, or are they just – I think what they should do is they should consider they should consider making another Friday the Thirteenth game with this mode expanded upon, and then add some new things 
So make d- d- so in other words, not make a sequel, but make downloadable content or change like yeah. you know add stuff to it. Yeah, or, or I mean DLC. they could make a sequel. Maybe you know maybe what they could do next time if they if they have the ability to do so, maybe they make a short campaign where there's a story. You know. Oh, story mode. Some of the characters, yeah. That'd you know cool. where you're trying to get away from Jason, and and then of course have the the online multiplayer. You know. Yeah. That would be cool. All right. All right. We're going. I'm going to bed now. So that's <laughs> the end of it. Good night, guys. Night. Oh wait. Nope. No. It doesn't. It says no. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>